Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and today's video is a look at my favorite and most used car interior detailing products. So recently I've done videos on both my favorite car washing and polishing products. So this video will be the third installment looking at interior detailing and protecting products, tools and equipment. Just like all the videos in this series, I've selected these products based on what I like and use in my business and at home, which can come down to many factors like local availability, price and just simply personal preferences. I've no doubt that there's dozens if not hundreds of other fantastic products that won't be on this list and that may be a better choice for some of you personally. Having said that, many of you have requested this list, it was a decent amount of work to put together so I do hope it's helpful. There's a lot to get through here so let's get to it. The first area is interior cleaners and I've tried to list these from the lighter more gentle cleaners to the more intense and aggressive ones. First on this list is CarPro in a QD. This is a maintenance quick interior detailer used to remove dust, fingerprints, smudges, and even some light dirt, whilst adding some mold protection and leaving a beautiful, richer factory matte finish behind. I think its strongest point is that it can be used on pretty much any surface from plastics, leather, vinyl, display screens, glass, and I've even used it to wipe down fabrics and carpets with great success. It also has a lovely fresh scent and an anti-static finish that also helps prevent growth of microorganisms that can lead to stale or foul interior smells. Now it's certainly not the cheapest product but you're typically just applying a few sprays to a cloth and wiping down large areas so even a small bottle tends to go a long way. You can also buy it in bulk which basically halves its price and you'll probably be set for the next few years. Second here is NV Cleanse. This is quite a gentle yet effective interior cleaner, perhaps more focused around more sensitive cleaning and maintenance. When it comes to older and more delicate leathers, even suede and alcantara, this is a cleaner I trust that won't be too aggressive as to degrade those sensitive materials, but still be able to clean them quite effectively, certainly better than most interior quick detailers and even help hydrate and maintain them. Now once again, it's not the cheapest product here or the one that I'd use on a filthy, grimy interior, but for gentle, light cleaning on almost any interior surface and certainly for those more delicate materials, Cleanse is a must-have option in my interior arsenal. Third on this list is CarPro Inside. Overall, this is my favorite and most used interior cleaner by far. What I love about it is that it's not too volatile or aggressive as some interior cleaners can be, yet in most cases it's more than capable to deal with even the worst grime and be extremely safe on most surfaces including leather. It can be used neat or undiluted on most interior materials and can also be diluted with water to cut back its aggression if you're cleaning an older or very sensitive material. It foams up extremely well with an almost endless cleaning cycle and tends to wipe off rather easy. In a nutshell, it's generally very safe, nice to use, extremely effective and very reasonably priced. Fourth on this list is Shine Supply Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner. This is just such an effective and capable carpet and upholstery cleaner that I've really come to love for the reason that it doesn't overly foam and is far easier to extract its residue out of those porous materials, making it quicker to work with, whether you're using a hot water extractor or simply just using a cloth to remove its residue. It's great at breaking down heavy grime, can be used lightly or heavily diluted depending on what strength is needed, smells fantastic leaving a light but pleasant smell behind and it's dirt cheap especially when bought in bulk. Last on this list is CarPro Multi-X. What makes this such a standout cleaner is its wide range. It can be used heavily diluted at around 1 to 20 to work on materials such as leathers, around 1 to 15 to 1 to 10 on plastics and fabrics, and even as strong as 1 to 5 on carpets for spot and stain treatment. 
It is a stronger chemical for interior cleaning, yet it's not off-putting or volatile as to be uncomfortable to use in closed spaces. And it also doesn't leave an unpleasant chemical smell behind like some other more aggressive all-purpose cleaners. It may not necessarily be my favorite cleaner for every situation or material, but as an interior cleaner that can just about do it all, it's certainly impressive and also very cheap here locally. The next category is interior cleaning brushes. First on my list is this set of CarPro detailing brushes. I have done a review on these, but basically the small brush I use for light dusting during the vacuuming stage it's super gentle, but very effective at sweeping dust and dirt into your vacuum. And like all three brushes here, extremely solid and well built. The boar hair brush is perhaps my overall favorite. It holds and foams up your chemicals beautifully well, cleans effectively, yet is very gentle as not to cause any damage or scuffs. And the boar hair bristles actually get better over time after a break in period. The XL brush is another real gem, having a little extra stiffness, surface area and power to clean a little more effectively if that's something needed at the time. Its bristles are still feathered so I found it to be very safe on almost any surface, but with that added grunt to be very effective at some spot or stain treatment work as well. Using all three of these brushes fairly frequently for well over a year now, I can certainly attest to their performance, effectiveness and durability. As far as a more dedicated, larger brush, I think Will Woolies has done a great job with their leather brush. It's a natural, more gentle horsehair brush with generously long plush bristles and a wider, ergonomically shaped handle to make holding it for extended periods a little more comfortable. I think for quick, safe and effective cleaning on leather surfaces and even some other sensitive materials, it's great, well built and should last many years. Third on this list is perhaps my oldest and most used brush, certainly for upholstery and carpets, which is the Viken Firm Interior Brush. It must be close to 10 years since I first tried it and to this day, when it comes to cleaning fabric seats, trims and even carpet, it's still my number one brush, being so effective yet very safe on those porous materials. It's also a rock solid, well put together brush that should last years even with constant use. It's dirt cheap and honestly hard to fault, certainly one I highly recommend. Last on this list is the Will Woolies Carpet and Upholstery Brush. I like to keep this brush in reserve when I do come across heavily soiled and stained carpet and mats, as it's just got that extra bit of cleaning power to cut through heavy grime very efficiently. Now I wouldn't tend to recommend it on more delicate upholstery, as I do feel it can be a little harsh, but for most carpets it's going to be completely safe and extremely effective. It's well put together, should last forever, and although it's not the cheapest here, it's still fantastic value. The next category is some other interior cleaning tools. First on this list is my current favorite interior cleaning towels. What I look for in a capable interior cloth is firstly a good absorption capacity, so I don't need to switch to a dry cloth so frequently. Secondly, is low linting so it's not leaving fibers everywhere. And thirdly, is a cloth that's going to resist cleaning chemicals as not to stain the surfaces with its color dye. You'd be surprised how many microfiber towels don't pass that test. The AquaTouch Champs cloths are my current favorite to get in all those boxes, and for a slightly larger cloth, they're also very reasonably priced. For you guys overseas, I still think the Kirtland cloths are a decent and very affordable choice for interior cleaning. Second is the CarPro Inner Scrub Glove. I know it may look a little gimmicky, but it's just so effective at quickly scrubbing down large surfaces from plastics to leathers and even upholstery perhaps quicker than most brushes generally. It's quite easy to clean out, tends to be quite durable and relatively cheap in price. In essence, if your hand can reach it, then this cleaning glove can clean it, making it very useful, ergonomic, and a must have for interior cleaning in my book. Third here is the AquaTouch Junior or even the Auto Scrub Ninja cleaning pads. 
These pads actually have a very similar stiff microfiber-like material found on the CarPro Inner Scrub Glove. So I do find them very effective at cleaning, but also gentle enough to clean leather and really most interior surfaces. They are quite reasonably priced. I wouldn't say as durable as the Inner Scrub Glove, but still one of my favorite interior cleaning tools. Last here is pet hair removal brushes. If you've ever tried to remove pet hair from a vehicle, I'm sure you know what a pain it can be. The Lily and Economax pet hair rubber brushes are extremely effective, relatively cheap since they'll tend to last a very long time and a must tool if pet hair is present in the interior cabin. Next up is glass cleaners. First up are two cleaners from CarPro, Clarify and Razor. I actually go a little back and forth between these two because although they are both effective, they are also quite different. Clarify is CarPro's dedicated glass cleaner with its characteristics being that it doesn't self-level or evaporate as quickly, providing more time to work the product and clean with your cloths before it disappears, which can be beneficial at times. You also tend to need less product. And lastly, it tends to be a little less grippy or grabby on the glass, making the final wipe easier. A razor, on the other hand, is a general IPA cleaner that tends to be much speedier to use with more self-leveling, perhaps being a touch more aggressive on grimy glass films, but can be a bit more grippy to wipe with, with less work time before it levels down and disappears. There's pros and cons either way, but in any case, I do really like, recommend, and use both of them quite frequently. Second on this list is Shell Concepts Ice. I think this is a very underestimated and overlooked fantastic glass cleaner. It has a thicker gel-like consistency that tends to eliminate overspray droplets and cleans extremely well quite easily. But unlike most glass cleaners, it also leaves behind a thin sealant that helps reduce fog build up on interior glass and creates some water repelling behavior on exterior glass and has an additional benefit of reducing water spots. It's quite cheap in price here locally and one I'd recommend giving a go. Last here, I'm just gonna quickly add Stoner Invisible Glass. Now, honestly, I haven't used it all that much in the last few years, but I do still think it's a great standout glass cleaner and I wanted to add it here as another great alternative option. The next category is interior glass cleaning towels or tools. First on this list is the CarPro glass fiber towel. I absolutely love this towel. It's pretty much zero linting, has this soft spongy inner foam that tends to resist bunching up and can be used for both the first wet cleaning wipe down and the final streak free finish, making it a glass cloth that can really do it all. Now it is quite an expensive towel, which is really its main con, but it's quite durable and a real standout in this category. Second on this list is the AquaTouch Kernel Cloth. This is a 100% zero lint, zero dusting, and even an anti-static carbon fiber weave towel. Now I don't use this cloth for the initial wet wipe down clean, as it's not a material that can absorb a lot of liquid. But for the second streak free wipe down, it's so effective at finishing perfectly and even gliding over the glass easily, making it my final wipe glass cleaning cloth. Last on this list is the newer CarPro glass mitt. This glass cleaning mitt has a waffle weave pattern for your initial wet clean and then their fiberglass side for the final streak free wipe down. For getting into hard to reach and clean glass edges and corners, it's so effective and ergonomic to use and just does such a great job. It's once again a little pricey, but I think well worth the investment and one of those super handy glass cleaning tools to have. Next up is interior dressings, sealants and coatings, which I'm once again gonna list from the lightest to the most durable. First up is Envy Nourish. This is bordering on being a quick detailer as it can certainly do some light cleaning, tends to leave a matte finish and is super easy, quick and forgiving to apply. 
I think where it does differ a little is that I find it tends to last a little longer than your typical interior quick detailer and also tends to help nourish interior trims, especially leathers and also keep most vinyls, plastics and even rubbers well hydrated and supple. It is a little more expensive, but if you're after a quick and easy interior maintenance product that can lightly clean, protect and nourish most trims, it is at the top of my list here. Second is 303 Aerospace Protectant. I've used this interior dressing and sealant perhaps longer than any other product here. And to this day, it is still perhaps my overall favorite general interior protectant. Now, if you're after a glossier interior sheen, this isn't the dressing for you. But if you do like a more factory matte finish and a protectant that can be used on most plastics, vinyls, rubbers, and even leathers, this is just so fantastic as it not only protects from UV, but also adds richness and seems to nicely condition those softer interior materials. It's generally very affordable, widely available, and a benchmark product. Third on this list is CarPro Pearl. This is really an all-in-one car detailing dressing and sealant as it can be used on many car surfaces from tires to engine bays, exterior plastics, rubbers, and even interior leather and trims. For interiors, I tend to dilute it one to two with water. So it's also dirt cheap and goes a very long way, making it the most affordable product here. Now, unlike 303's matte finish, Pearl does tend to leave a more satin sheen that for modern car interiors, I don't always prefer, but for my older classic cars, it's actually my favorite finish as it tends to suit those trims and materials from that era a little better. It also tends to be quite durable and just do a great job at enhancing and protecting most interior trims. Fourth on this list is NV Guardian. This is more of a long-term durable interior coating that can last up to a year quite comfortably. Now it's still water-based meaning it's quite gentle on almost any material and also doesn't leave any strong off-putting solventy smells. Additionally, it's very easy and non-intimidating to use and very reasonably priced with even a small bottle being able to do multiple coats going quite a long way. It is primarily a leather coating, but I've also used it with great success to coat plastics and vinyls, so it's also quite versatile. Last on this list is CarPro Leather. Now just like Envy Guardian, this isn't just a leather coating, but it can also coat plastics, rubbers, vinyls, and even wood and metal interior trims. It is a solvent based coating, which can last up to two years, especially when applied in layers and does tend to provide exceptional protection, easier maintenance and cleaning, and even a little stain resistance. It is a little pricey and can be a little more work to apply correctly, but with all things considered, it is a standout interior coating and one I certainly recommend. Now, as I start to wrap up this video, I'm just gonna quickly add some more pro-focused interior cleaning equipment. First here is vacuums, starting with the MetroVac Vacuum Blow Pro. I've had this same unit in two past shop locations and it has been a rock solid piece of equipment that's not only an extremely powerful and capable car vacuum, but also a class leading car blower and dryer and comes in a very compact all metal unit. The pro version of the vacuum blow also adds loads of extra attachments, but its little brother is still a great unit that can do it all at a far more affordable price. I've had my pneumatic George unit for almost 10 years now, and if you're looking for a wet and dry vacuum that can also do extraction, is bulletproof, reliable, extremely powerful, with great suction, and has a relatively small footprint, this is just a winner on so many levels. I personally don't think there's a better unit in this category for the price, and one I highly recommend. If you want to step up to a hot water extractor, I've added the Bar Hot Wave unit here that I've used for a number of years and can attest to its reliability and performance. Now, this is a large bulky unit, not suitable for mobile work, and it is going to cost about twice the price of Pneumatic George. But honestly, this is just the way it goes with equipment like this. 
My advice when looking for things like hot water extractors, steamers, and even pressure washers is to hold out and get something good when you can afford it. Cheap steamers, extractors, and pressure washers just never last, always break, perform horribly, and end up costing you more in the long run. I'm just going to add one steamer here, which is my Vaporetto Echo Pro 3000. I've used a number of steamers in my time, and most of them have just been horrible, producing poor steam, poor pressure, and simply breaking after limited use. Although this steamer certainly isn't cheap, it's not crazy expensive, but what it is, is reliable, high performing, and almost 10 years on now, one I can personally recommend. Next up is the Tornador and its interior cleaning attachments. If you want to get into high quality cleaning results efficiently that are as good as many far more expensive hot water extractors and steamers, the Tornador is certainly worth having a good look at. Now, you can use the general Tornador Black or Max for cleaning down interior surfaces on its own, but if you want to take it a little further, I can tell you that their Velocity Vac will tackle sand and pet hair better than any other vacuum on the market. It's just in a league of its own in that area. And if you want to get into carpet and upholstery extraction on a budget, the Tornador Vac Adapter can turn any standard wet and dry vac into one of the most powerful and capable extractors you'll ever use. Now you don't need a crazy big or powerful air compressor to run the Tornador, but you will need a half decent one. Generally speaking, a unit with a 50 litre tank that expels at least 200 litres of air per minute should be fine. I've got the larger Hush 100 unit at the shop, but this Chicago Hush 50 should be more than adequate. They're super reliable, super quiet, and air compressors I highly recommend. I think the most important and overlooked piece of equipment for interior detailing is a good headlamp. Both these scan grip and take nail lights are fantastic at exposing dirt and grime with great brightness, USB charging and even hands free on off activation. For me an apron with pockets is something I always use while detailing. Being able to hold your microfiber cloths, brushes and cleaning pads and access them quickly is a must for me to work efficiently and this Car Pro apron is my favourite. Last but not least is some good natural gloves. These Grip House gloves have the best grip to hold onto your tools even when wet, are chemical resistant, super durable and really the best ones I've ever used. Well, that is it guys. We're really spoiled for choice these days when it comes to interior detailing products. No video can contain them all, but I do really hope this look at my personal favorite products was helpful to some of you out there. If you enjoyed this video and would like to say thanks and help support future content, you can do so by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash ccad in which I'll have a link to in the description box or you can now hit the thanks button below the video and thank you everyone for the support so far. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. Please share it with others, give it a like and comment below to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon.